Hey, 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 what's up, worship boy? Hey, hey, what's up, worship boy? G Shrimp, everybody favorite, baby daddy. You know, the west of the street, man. And, you know, I'm trying to move up in the world, y'all, a little bit, you know. So I'm broadcasting live on Instagram and Facebook and Luke, too, all at the same time. I got a camera right here and one right here, y'all. Let's go. So, my man, I'm back convincing me, G, you got to tell more stories. Tell your love stories, man. Unfortunately, a lot of these stories are, you know, uh, criminal activity that I care not to disclose, you know. But most of my all, so your statute of limitation has ran out on these stories, so I can tell you these stories because most of my all. This particular story I'm finna tell y'all, it happened many, many, many moons ago. If you go in this restaurant today, I'm not going to show you where it's at. You can still see the bullet holes in the goddamn windshield. It's in Inglewood, I'll give you a hint. So, you can go in this restaurant and you will see the bullet holes in the goddamn window. No cap, y'all. Go up there and trust me. I guess the owner said, hey, this motherfucker worked. Why not? Why should I change it? It works. Trust me, at work I know. Okay, the nigga I'm riding with, one of the generals too, here. This G here, he was a grimy nigga, y'all. Let me just back up to tell y'all some shit, the shit he did, man. He was one of them niggas, just one shit when it come to certain things. When he made his mind up to do something and what he was going to do, he done it, you know, from whether it's a whack a motherfucker or do this to rob his own goddamn girlfriend, man. And let me tell y'all that story before I lead into this one. This nigga so cold-hearted, man. He had this woman stand on the east side, y'all. I'm going to make this part quick. Anyway, he comes up with this bright idea. I think he got it from me, y'all, because I had a big screen TV, right? I'm 5'3". So the big screen TV is five feet because I only can see a few inches over the TV, man. And I guess he got tired of looking at my big screen TV, right? And his bitch had one over there at the house he, he was staying with, over there with her with. But what happened, it was the winter time and her heat got cut off. So she still let him stay there, but she moved her and her kids to her mother's house, which had heat. It was down the street from the school they was going to, so she like, fine, I could do that. I get the heat cut on in the summertime, you know, when I get my money back up. She wasn't in a rush, so she just packed up and moved for the winter. But she let him still stay there because he didn't have nowhere to stay at the time. So I guess he got tired of watching my big screen TV and decide she got one. She ain't here watching it. Hell, I can take this motherfucker. This cold ass nigga, y'all, rents a U-Haul truck and went over there and moved that girl shit out like he was authorized to move it. Had the nerve to want me to help him, but G don't do home invasions, especially, goddamn it, from no motherfucker woman I'm sleeping with. I'm sorry, man. That's just low as they come. That's grimy, man. And then he was so close to getting bumped, man. I mean, the stupid ass neighbor next door watched. The everybody moves all the shit out. The, 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 the uh, U-Haul truck move all her shit out. And then she decides to call her after they gone. Talking about, hello, hey. She like, hey, what's up? She like, hey, damn, bitch, you could have told me you was moving. She like, huh? You could have told me you was moving, bitch. She like, I'm not moving. She like, what you mean you're not moving? Girl, a U-Haul truck been at your house for the last hour and a half. Girl, moving all your shit around. They done moved all your shit out of here. She like, what? Call the police. Why you let them do? She like, I didn't know. She like, and you just calling me now? The man moved all the girl shit out. So naturally, she calls him. He tell her he out of town. He in Washington somewhere. He in Chicago in the U-Haul truck, probably driving and took all his shit. Took it to another chick house. Bedroom sets, goddamn it, a whole big, big screen TV like I had. Everything just to laid his house out. You know, I'm like, wow, that's cold, man. So this nigga, he's a grimy nigga, man. So goddamn it, he with me one night. We riding around. To be honest, he needed to hit a lick or something for his rent money. Now, I had paid his rent once, twice, so I wasn't finna do it a third time. 
we had spoke to my brother, my brother like, man, I paid this shit last month, I'm not finna do it. He got to come up with his ends tonight or something. So he's out riding and looking for a lick. We went running around trying to find somebody he was gonna try to poke, right? He couldn't find nobody, y'all. So he calls one of the other gentlemen he's supposed to have been taking him home, which was way up north. The general told him, hell no, you done waited too late. I'm not finna do it tonight, man. I'll take you in the morning. So Mo wanted to go home tonight, you know. So he had been with me. I'm kind of stuck with him. But if his man don't take him home, you know, I shouldn't have felt obligated. But I was the one with him. So I'm like, damn, man. So he like, man, you got to take me home, G. I'm like, come on, man. Really, you can't wait till the morning? No, nah, man, I got to get in tonight, man. I'm like, damn. So I got this motherfucker Tech 9 machine gun, man. I'm like, man, I can't ride all the way up north with this motherfucker. So I'm going to switch. I go in the house and drop down. You know, I swap one with one of my other people. I get some 350, some 11, you know, big boy. All right, let's go. He decides he hungry now, y'all. It's 2 in the fucking morning. We stones, y'all. Black stones, stones running, man. Ain't nothing but shit open in gangster territory, which is not a good thing for stones riding around at 2 in the morning. I'm trying to convince him, man, let's wait till we get up north, man, and you can get something to eat. Now, nah, gee, I'm hungry right now, man. I want to eat now, man, you know. I'm like, okay, fuck it. We goes up here to this restaurant. Bam, we gets in the restaurant. He ordered his shit. I goes in with him. I got a nigga in the car with me, a customer that I had that's go ride with me, my, one of my guys. He an old cat, man. Bro, him, Mike, we called him. He was going to ride with me because I needed somebody to ride back from the north side with me. So I picked him up, right? I solicit his services, y'all. So as we goes in the restaurant, we in there kicking it, right? And uh, we in the place that I ordered, and we waiting, you know. Now, let me explain this to you. I got on a short set. And uh, I got a long slurp pulled down over my demonstration, so motherfucker couldn't really see it. And uh, in my hand, I had the revolver, so I had some extra bullets, because uh, I believe if you go pack, go on pack. You feel me? So I got these motherfuckers, I'm shaking them like quarters, you know. And uh, the chick was back there taking her food, you know, taking, I mean, fixing food. And there was a lady standing at the window already waiting to order, but the chick had her back turned, right? So these three guys come in. It's three guys and the chick come in. Trouble, y'all. So, you know, uh, they walked in, and they standing there in the back. As, goddammit, the lady turned around and said, can I help you? The nigga walks right up, steps in front of her and said, yeah, let me get a double cheeseburger and order fries. The bitch like, hey, y'all was in line. And, you know, the chick took her order and they started laughing, you know. It was, it was kind of funny, man. I wasn't agreeing with him, but I'm like, <laughs> damn. So I kind of gave a little chuckle, you know. So I guess he thought I agreed with him, right? He walks over there, and he go try to salute me. He try to hook him up, like, what up, gangster? You know how he do that? He, what up, gangster? I'm like, I ain't no gangster. I ain't for He, oh, you ain't folks? I'm like, no. He like, oh, oh what you, a motherfucking hook? I'm like, no, nigga ain't no hook. And you know, why you say it like that? Oh, I say it the way I want to say it. But you go up something on me, mister? I'm like, no, nigga, I ain't go up nothing on you, but I ain't no motherfucking hook, nigga. He, oh, okay, you know, and now the bullshit start. His partners, you know what, we whooped the hook the other day, man, you know, me and little folks, and we jumped on, ooh, they goes in with the stories, trying to irritate me, talking about how many uh, our guys in the stump now. And uh, the nigga, he mean mugging me, not looking like, <laughs> this pussy ass nigga, he ain't no gangster, he trying to mean mug me. Now my boy behind him looking like, Gee, come, come, pop this nigga G. So, you know, here's what he doing behind him, like. When you go pop this nigga G, and I'm like, I'm saying to myself, I'm waiting on your food, sir. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to wait it out. So, dude, like, man, where you from, dude? 
I'm like, man, I'm from 73rd and Woo Wop the Ben Nam, You know, I'm proud of it, nigga. Why? Oh, oh, okay. Ooh, we just kept talking and shit. And you know, I don't know if y'all street niggas, the nigga trying to line me up, y'all, set me up where he get a good steal. He was going to steal on me, y'all. The nigga stepped up and was trying to line me up. And every time he would position himself to, so he can get a good swing, I'd take another step around and fucks his focus up. You know, he had to retry to line me up again. And you know, I kept moving around because I need time to get this demonstration out when shit go left. Because I see it going left, it's already turned. As a matter of fact, the turn signal is on. We just waiting on the light to turn. It's going left though, y'all, you know. So he talking and woo and he step fucking with me, asking me crazy shit, man. So you what? You did this, man. It's such such and for you know he kept getting aggressive, aggressive, more aggressive, and then he so say this, man, Joe, and my boy behind him like, ah, gee, man, gee, man, pop this nigga, man, pop this nigga, man. What you waiting on, man? What you waiting on, nigga? And I'm like, I'm waiting on your fool. This wasn't my man. I'm waiting on the fool. But I couldn't start it. I stalled as long as I could until the shit escalated, escalated, and it kept escalating to the nigga. Yeah, you know what, Joe? To be honest, man, to be honest, shout. I'm like, yeah, we usually don't let hooks come up here and eat. I'm like, what? Yeah, you heard what I said, man. We usually don't let hooks come up here to eat, man. But you know, I'm the, you know, and I'm like, I just had enough. I'm like, you don't let hooks do what? And he, whoa, all of them jumped and hid behind a plastic garbage can, y'all. Plastic. So I'm like, fuck it, let's go. We bagging out. I wasn't finna do nothing, y'all. I was just trying to get out of that. You know, I want, I don't believe in causing altercations if I could avoid them, you know. But this nigga I got with me, you know, his motherfucking ass as I'm walking out the door. He popped the motherfucker, G. He said it. But my hand reacted. Boom, 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 boom. The whole six. Niggas falling all down. Shit in the window. This shit everywhere. We comes out. The old man I had in the car said, God damn it, this shrimp sticking up the restaurant. I don't know why he thought that, but he, he thought it. So he jumps in the passenger seat. The driver's seat. Boom. I jumped in the passenger seat. And my man jump in the back and we pull out. These niggas had the nerve to try to follow us, y'all. Why? I don't know. I guess they had a demonstration, you know. So as we riding, my man, old man, you know, he can't hardly drive the car too good because it was one of them old ass cutlasses. If you, you got to ease down on the gas and let it pick up slowly. If you try to step on it right away, it'll poof. To conk out the gas, you know, it would conk out. It was just one of them old cars, man. You got to know how to drive it. He didn't know how to drive it, y'all. So he really is not doing a good job. But as we peeped the nigga following us, I said, These motherfuckers must think we out, you know. I'm like, No, nah, we ain't out. I man, had my man pull over, man, pull over right here in this alley, right here. I had my man the Chanel's because I think I was in the back at this time. He was in the front. I said, Huh, man, reload that demonstration, man, handle that. Uh, and we pull over in the alley, wop, wop, and he jumped out. I said, you see them niggas, man? You see them there? He didn't go right here. Doom, 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 doom. Pow. Ah, ah, glass and shit going around, niggas. Ah. We jumped back in the car. Zoom. Now, we already got the police responding to the first shots fired at the restaurant. Then second shots fired, which was still in close proximity because we hadn't ran too far. So, we getting up out of that jam, and my man hollering, Shrimp, I can't stand it, man. I can't stand it, man. I'm like, man, just get us around here. Woo, woo, woo. Man, I can't stand it, man. I can't stand it. So as we turn in the corner, zoop, we get the racing, y'all. Here come them people turn the corner. I didn't think it was them because when they turned behind us, the hook caps they had on the car were real shiny. I thought they were rims, but they were not, y'all. They got behind us, hit the light, whoop, whoop. My man like, shrimp, I can't stand it, man. I can't stand it, shrimp. I'm like, nigga, you better drive this motherfucker, nigga. He, I can't stand it, shrimp. I said, drive this motherfucker, man. Get us a block or so, man. Drive it. Do what you got to do. He, I can't stand it, man. I can't stand it, man. Do, do what you got to do, man. We, woo, until my man dropped the demo. He takes the motherfucker, throw it out the window, y'all. 
it, it, it hit out the window, bounced into a smooth mo cars and spit around and bam, landed back in the goddamn car. Like a boomerang, like he tossed it in it, do, 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 boom, landed back in the car. I'm like, ain't this a bitch, man? And he feeling, I'm like, no, nah, give it to me, man. I said, don't, don't toss it until it hit the window. I said, just drop that bitch. I mean, let's put it out the window and drop it. So as we study running from the people, we he put the demo out the window, drop it, bam. The police stopped to pick the demonstration up, right? That's how cute. We turn the corner. Whoo, I'm like, let me out. We pull over, let's say, let me set this up for you. When he turned the corner, er, bam, and made a left. At first alley right there was an alley. I come out the passenger side. I come out the driver side. And my driver, I come out the back seat. He come out the front. We hit that alley. We gone. My man jumps out and runs straight. So when the police turn the corner, all they see is him running straight. So they pass the cop. Zoom, J down on him first. Now we gone. That allows us room to get away. We get away. But I'm hearing shit, y'all. I'm sitting there. I'm hiding up on the back porch. And I'm studying hearing cars. Zoom, 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 I'm like, oh, shit. I hear, he in the backyard. He on the back porch. He's on the back porch. I'm like, oh, shit. I heard that. I come down and get under the car. You know, I'm just like, oh, my God. I'm nervous as shit. I'm like, God damn it. What am I going to do? So, you know, I thought about some shit that had happened. My cousin here put me up on game, right? So, I took all my clothes off, y'all, except for my boxer shorts. Put my money in my shoe and got out and just started walking toward the house, right? And uh, I'm walking toward the house. Police now got my car surrounded, taped off. They doing their little investigation thing. I walk by them down the corner. They like, hey, hey, buddy, you all right? I'm like, yeah, man, I just got robbed, man. He like, you need some help? And I, I'm like, no, nah, I'll just stay right here. I'll stay right up the street, man. You know, I'm good from here. He like, oh, okay, wow. And, you know, I kept on moving. You know, I ain't tripped, right? I goes home to my house, which I'm thinking them people might be there, so I goes to my neighbor house. My neighbor gave me a change of clothes and everything, make sure I was good, and we just waited out. My man got caught, but he's a real nigga, OG. He got them and didn't do no talking, so he got them and kept it 100 and kept his mouth shut, you know. So, you know, the next day, they naturally gets the car and pounds the car. I lose so much in that. They impound the car, y'all. I lost that. My man in jail. I'm like, God damn, you know, if it ain't one thing, it's another, y'all. But if you go to this restaurant to this day, you still will see the bullet holes in the windshield. I be telling y'all these stories not to glorify the criminal life and the criminal activity, but to see y'all how dangerous this shit is, how much trouble you have to go through. Now, just think, we were basically going to get something to eat, but we had to go in enemy territory to get something to eat late at night. So, somebody bound to get hurt. And I had, my man had the heat. Oh, man, him will still be in jail for the murder right now. Because that's the type of nigga he is. He'd have got out on him. You know, hey, I'm pretty good with the demonstration myself. I don't need you to hold it or do that for me. I'm going to put in my own work. You know, I don't need you to do that. The general going to handle, the, the go handle his own business, you know. And it's good I did because it's two times he could have sent me to jail and fucked up for a nice little amount of time. But by me keeping my own counsel and my own thoughts, I thought of my own shit and plans and situations myself. You know, like when we was looking for a Vic, he go say, man, Shrimp, if the police get on this man, I, I, I'm, I'm popping one of their ass. I said, no, you ain't got to worry about that because we ain't stopping <laughs> We not gonna stop, bro. If you thinking about popping the motherfucker, I ain't finna even stop then. You know, you ain't finna throw my life away because you ready to throw yours away. I had shit to live for, you know. I, I was hustling pretty good, had a good woman, and made good money and everything. I really just need to be staying out the way, which I was doing a pretty good job. But then I then hanging with one of them knuckleheads would jeopardize shit like that, you know. 
So, you know, that's just how it be, man. You know, I want y'all to like, subscribe, share, share this video, man. It's your boy G Shrimp, everybody's favorite baby daddy, you know. Hey, I want y'all to put something on that cash app, y'all, you know. Help the channel grow, y'all. It's growing every day. I really appreciate that, man. I need y'all to keep going to YouTube, subscribing. Keep going there, letting them know y'all like it. Them likes mean a lot, y'all. But go to YouTube and do it. Go to YouTube and pull the same video up and uh, like it. You know, all that's going to help. You know, trust me. You know, I told you I'm going to be monetized this year anyway. I, I got a few lawsuits that's pending that, you know, that's going to just disappear. But uh, just let me know when I'm getting bigger. I'm getting closer to uh, being monetized where shit is starting to happen already. You know, and I ain't trying to just let it happen to me. I don't want it to happen to me, you know. But whenever something like that happens, I want to be prepared, man. You know, so like I say, also, y'all go to Teespringer and check out one of them G-Shrimp shirts, man. And the fade by the favorite baby daddy. I mean, now check out one of them shirts, man. You know, the G-Shrimp show. Order one of them shirts for me, y'all. You know, and uh, help a boy grow this channel, man. It's your boy G-Shrimp, man. Everybody's favorite baby daddy. You know, voice of the street. I'm out of here.